So today we are in Shenandoah National Park, hiking the Shenandoah Park Trail Loop. 24.8 miles, 7,000 feet of elevation, three days, three nights, one heck of a good time. <laughs> I'll show you guys. Pretty uh, uneventful start. Pretty worn trail. We're on a, we're on a road. It's pretty well established, I'm not gonna lie. Not what we expected, is it, Joey? No, no, not at all. I have rolled my ankles a few times. So. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. We'll get there. Oh, with one mile in. Off to a great start. So we started out there, and we are now here. So we are officially going to depart the Appalachian Trail. So we have this going there. We are going here. And somewhere around there, it's a very noisy turkey. We've made some friends. We've made yeah. some friends, Joey's some followers. Choke one out. See, we scared off so, two earlier. I will probably choke one out. Appalachian Trail, it's been nice. But it's time we go our separate ways. All right, so we finished hiking today. We only got about four miles in, um, but it was a good first day. Um, obviously, besides the rain, just got finished setting up camp. Pat's tent. A couple hammocks, so got clothed, uh, changed clothes, got everything set up for the night. About to go cook some dinner a couple hundred feet away, and then um, early morning tomorrow. So, Pat, how was day one? Now to ask me that? Not too bad. Man. Not too bad. And right, now you can talk. How was day one? It's pretty good. Got rained on. Couldn't find my rain fly. <laughs> now I found it after it's done raining. But uh, other than that, you know, hammock's looking a little droopy. <laughs> so, be very really honest, morale's a little lower than it could be, but <laughs> that's all right. But what do you got there? I got uh, some uh, noodles and some pasta, and broccoli. Yeah. Pasta sides. Mm -hmm. So it's good night. It's a good night. Good morning. Good morning guys. It is day two. Saturday here. Just woke up. Pat is starting to get packed up. Joey's still asleep. Um, we gotta go get our food bag. Had a pretty sad attempt at hanging it last night. It was dark. The ground was wet. I'm wearing socks with my, my uh, Chacos. My socks were soaked. Not a fun time, but we got it up, kind of. And fortunately, it's still there. Right. <laughs> it, took a, it took a fat minute. Yeah, it took you know, a second. I got nailed in the chin by the carabiner. <laughs> <laughs> I 
dangerous stuff hanging bear bags. Yeah, we uh, we definitely learned our lesson. Hang it while it's still light out. Yes, hang it while it's light out. Um, if you can't tell, it's kind of windy. Got to, I think it was like 55 last night, but the wind made it feel like 10 degrees colder. So, pretty chilly, pretty chilly. Should warm up today, so. So this is our bear bag. As you can see, we only got about two feet from the tree there. Um, and it's only eight feet off the ground. Not what you want. A very stupid bear could have gotten it to this food bag. A cub could have gotten it. A cub could have gotten it. But hey, it's a beautiful morning. And we still have our food bag. So things could be worse. So for years and years, every morning for coffee, I've used Folgers Instant Coffee. Like camping or not camping? Camping. And it is pretty terrible. Yeah, it's not good. <clears throat> and so, was that REI? I saw Alpine start. So we're going to try that out instant coffee that actually tastes good and while I was looking at Alpine start I saw another guy Kuju coffee bold awakening dark roast ethically sourced single serve pour over we're gonna try that So, just made the Kuju coffee. First sip. Hot. It's good. It's about three times better than instant coffee, which is not saying much. <clears throat> yeah, just like home. Except for here. The problem is. I gotta figure out what to do with this. Biodegradable, right? So we made a little friend here. Huh? Yeah. But unfortunately for my friend, I gotta get my rain fly put away. So try to get him on this leaf here. Oop. See you later, buddy. All right, so we got everything packed up. Joe, you ready to hike? Yes, sir. Let's All do right. it. Pat, how you feeling? Great. <laughs> Doesn't sound too excited. We actually got to, uh, we got to go back to where the Appalachian Trail split onto Salamander Trail, and we're going to start from there. We went back here. There's better camp spots. So we got Make it seem like that's super far away. A little bit, yeah. It's like 200 feet away. <laughs> um, so we'll have a little bit of catch-up to do, and then we got, uh, what was it? Some doing, some peak today. Yeah, we're doing at least one. So. Eight miles though, aren't we? Yep, eight yeah. mile day. Let's get started. just got onto Cedar Run Trail. How many trees do you think there are? We're about two miles in today, I think. Um, just past the parking lot. Um, our original plan was to hike this loop around to Old Rag. Um, Old Rag has a rock scramble. And after talking to some other hikers, 
Pull us out. We, uh, pull us out. Joey and Pat decided we're that they were not up for the rock hey, scramble. Up? We suck. We don't want to do it. <laughs> They're not quite confident, which is fine. This is Pat's first big backpacking trip, and Joey's second. So I was kind of looking forward to it, but that's okay. Yeah. I, was I will have more hikes. In the comfort of my home. So. <laughs> <laughs> Walking down the stairs. So we have yeah, probably about five or six miles left today. It's only 10 o'clock, right so <laughs> making pretty good time. And uh, it's only, it's about 65 right now, I'd say. So definitely, definitely great day to go hiking. Two miles in the Cedar Run Trail. Uh, it's been all downhill so far. Pretty large rocks, actually. Pretty strenuous going downhill. Um, stopping for lunch here. We got a nice little spot. River there. Pat, what do you think? It's not bad. So a little bit of a change of plan. We got to the trailhead. Pat and Joey decided that they did not want to hike or camp anymore. So they're going to ask around, see if there's any vacancy at any uh, hotel. Not sure if I'll keep going myself or not. We'll see. There was no vacancy at either the cottage or one of the hotels around, so we Talk to the park ranger. There's apparently campgrounds uh, right on this trail that we can go to, and we're gonna take a shorter route tomorrow. Is our plan? We will see how that goes. So the campsite was taken, um, we decided to keep going, try to find another campsite nearby. I don't know if we would.
to camp about an hour ago, set everything up. Um, yep. Stop. Joey there. Hammock. Hammock. You can't see Pat's tent. Um, you're not gonna lie. Horrible afternoon. <laughs> um, <laughs> just really, really hard really uphill. Low lows. Um, no, no highs. Joey and Pat were struggling quite a bit. Yeah. I had to take their food and some of their water so they would have a lighter pack. I left one of my water bottles by the side of the Joey forgot one of his water bottles. It was not a great day for Joey and Pat. I had fun, but. So we got to camp. It is, what time is it? 6.30 uh, maybe? Um, 6.40. <clears throat> we had a rough afternoon. Um, the trail that we took, we ended up First of all, I'll rewind. We ended up, we're only gonna stay one more night. Joey and Pat didn't wanna stay two more nights. So tonight's our last night. We're gonna hike about two or three miles out tomorrow, back to the car. But the trail we took um, had about 3,000 feet of elevation in two to three miles. So it was pretty tough. Um, a lot tougher than it was gonna be. Um, but we're at camp now, eating dinner. Got everything set up. Two hammocks and a tent kind of makeshift campsite but it's pretty the sun's just about to go over the edge so probably gonna be a short night tonight Morning. It is around 7, 7.15. This morning we had some visitors around 6.45. Um, heard some noises outside of my hammock, so I ended up just getting out, trying to make some noise to scare them off. Um, and there was about five or six deer, about 20 yards away, so that was pretty cool. Um, Glad it wasn't something else. But Joey and Pat are still asleep. I got my Alpine start here, so good start for the morning. So we just left camp. Um, pretty slow morning. Hit immediately an uphill. So I think we got about two or three miles of this and then we'll be gone. Legs are definitely a little sore from yesterday. You can't hear my breathing. This is pretty steep. But only a couple miles, so we'll be alright. Skyland Resort. That way. Basically a road. Should be pretty easy the rest of the way. Joey is having a little bit of trouble keeping up with his giant walking stick. So, we are uh, taking it slow this morning, but that's okay. 
Um, expect a little stream this morning. It's pretty neat. It's all the way back up there. Definitely not mad about it. Oh, several little streams. Pretty cool little area. Not bad. And on it goes. Pretty easy trail. Definitely on a horse trail. All right, we have made it to Skyland Drive, which means it's probably pretty close to Skyland Lodge. So, horse trail's been following. All right, we made it back to the parking lot. We are at Skyland Resort, Skyland Resort. It wasn't too bad this morning. A little hot out now. I worked up a little bit of a sweat, but we're here. I'll probably have to stop somewhere for lunch. We didn't eat much for breakfast, but overall, good trip. Quite disappointed that we didn't stay a third night, but you got three people, and two of them want to do one thing. You don't really have much of a choice. So, anyway, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed.